Tradition is a vital component of the Christian faith. You know, for some, this is a given. But for others, it is hard to see the importance or even appreciate tradition. You know, we can see that tradition was important to St. Paul. In 1 Corinthians, he tells his readers that he received the core teachings of the Christian faith from others. And he encourages Timothy to guard the good deposit which was entrusted to him. Tradition can be seen as the act of passing down the teachings of the apostles, and it can also be seen as the body of teachings themselves. But how do we identify tradition? In today's world of pluralistic ideas, how do we identify the Christian tradition that was started by the apostles and founded upon Christ? In the fifth century, St. Vincent of Liron set about answering that very question. St. Vincent lived and wrote during the tumultuous 100 years where the controversies about Christ were numerous. He was born in Gaul, which is modern day France. He started out as a soldier, but decided to become a monk on the island monastery of Liron. He wanted to avoid the hustle and bustle of city life and be able to follow the Psalm, be still and know that I am God. It is there that he wrote the Commatorium a document meant to serve as a reminder of the faith that has been passed down from the apostles and to help in avoiding new heretical ideas. You know, St. Vincent wanted to be able to identify innovations in theology which were false and safeguard the church against such false teachings. He believed this was accomplished by utilizing tradition. St. Vincent understood that for something to be considered a part of Christian tradition, it must have been believed everywhere, believed for all time, and believed by all people. In the year 434, St. Vincent wrote this, Because Holy Scripture, on account of its depth, is not accepted in a universal sense, it can be interpreted one way by one person and in another way by someone else, resulting in as many opinions and interpretations as there are people in the world. Because of this, he says that in the church, the greatest care is taken that we believe which has been taught everywhere, always, and by all people. But what did St. Vincent mean by this? Believed everywhere is not something that's just believed in Jerusalem or Antioch or Rome, but believed all over the world. Something that's believed for all time is not something that's just believed for a short period of time or just in the past or some new idea or teaching just for today's world, but believed from the very beginning of the church for all time forth. And belief for all people does not mean that 100% of all people agree, but it does mean that the teachings was not just for a particular group of people, believed not just by the Jews or for the Jews or the Greeks, or the rich, or for the poor, but believed by all people, regardless of who they are. This criteria also ensures that the teaching of the Christian church is Catholic, in that they are universal for the whole world, for all time, and for all people. Tradition is as vital today as it was during St. Vincent's time. And using his criteria of tradition, we can ensure that our faith is the faith of the apostles. Thank you.